<laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. Say hi. Hi, buddy. Hi, everybody. Hi, buddy. Today is Day. December twenty second. December twenty second. I recorded the video that you are about to watch the day after I found out I was pregnant. 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 So don't mind my outfit. I'm off. It's Christmas week. I'm off this whole week and I have been taking full advantage of that. And so, yeah, we're just hanging out. Can you be, be quiet? He does my co-star. My co Can't you see? He just loves the camera and knows what to do. Say hi, everybody. Bye. Bye. Okay. So, okay. The video you're about to watch, I recorded this the day after I found out I was pregnant. I recorded it because I wanted to be able to capture those feelings, how I felt right after finding out I was pregnant. Um, I wasn't sure when I was going to announce the pregnancy, so I've just, so I've just been sitting on the video. So, you will see, I will say it is October 22nd or 23rd, whatever day it was. Um, oh, so look, it was like two months ago. Wow, how funny. So, yes. Um, I wanted to be able to capture those feelings. I will say I am in a much better headspace, probably because I'm in my second trimester. I'm feeling better. I was very nauseous and sick. Never like threw up and all that fun stuff. But just the nauseousness feeling was just not, I don't like it at all. Like, so thank God I'm not feeling bad anymore. I'm actually, I'm happy. I am excited. I was a little bit shocked. I was a little sad at first, but now I'm like, okay, like, I'm ready for the baby to be here. I am ready for our family to grow and have this new addition and see how our family expands. So, it's great. It's going very well. I am, oh, look at Elmo. I am currently, okay. I'm currently 15 weeks as of today, four months. So. Um, still due in June. Anyway, let's get into the video and you'll see much more information about this pregnancy. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Baby, they can't see you down there. Look, come here. Say hi, everybody. No. Okay. Well. Jed is going to copy every word that I say, so forgive me, and I'm super hot. So this is not how I planned on starting my own YouTube channel. I recently wrote in a blog that about how me and Justin had started our YouTube channel, and then I found out I was pregnant, and I stopped everything, all the YouTube stuff, because I was like, I'm just going to focus on the baby and have a baby, and then we'll pick up this later. And so here I am, and I'm just like, really, wow, like, okay. So, Judd, no. Um, today is October 23rd, and yesterday, October 22nd, at 3.30 in the morning, I woke up, and I was like, you know what, let me just take a test, because my period is late. I took a test, and immediately two lines showed up on the test. You're gonna have a baby? Yeah. Yeah? And we swear to Judd knew because he's been acting weird all week. Like, he's not been himself. And so, they're like, Judd, you knew mommy had a baby in her belly? And he's just like, <laughs> didn't say yes and didn't say no. Right. And so, we were like, oh my God, like, what is happening? So yeah, I woke up out of my sleep just to go to the bathroom and I was like, let me just take a test to see. Um, and yeah, it was positive. And I immediately went over and woke Justin up and I was like, look, like, look at this. Cause we were, we were not expecting this at all. We were in shock almost all of the day yesterday. Like, I am really pregnant and I just wasn't expecting this. 
it's a good thing though. It's babies are always a blessing. Growing our family is a blessing. We always wanted this. Um, you know, to have more kids. We just weren't sure about the timing when we were gonna do it and you know, because no. it's it's hard. Bye. It's gonna be hard for the first year and a half. I wasn't ready. I feel like I just got back into the groove of being Jacory and finding myself and doing the things that I love and want to do outside of motherhood. So now to have this sprung back on me is like Me and Justin thought we were gonna be good, you know, at least for another year. When I first got pregnant with Judd, it took us a year and seven months after I got off birth control to get pregnant. And I got off birth control in January this year because we were like, okay, when Judd turns two, which he turned two in July, we're like, when Judd turns two, we'll try to have another baby. And so he turned two this year and in January, I was like, okay, let me just go get off birth control, whatever. But I did not think it would happen <laughs> this fast, which has been 10 months since I've been off birth control. But just from the first time, it took so long. I was just like, nah, you know, we're really fine. But I always, I wanted to have another one before 30. I don't know if this is because I'm pregnant or what, because I'm really not nervous. I'm just hot. Um, so yeah, about finding out I was pregnant. I didn't have, I mean, miss or you know, period coming symptoms are the same as pregnancy symptoms. So, I mean, I was craving stuff, but look, I've taken probably like seven tests this whole year and they've all been negative. Like I just take tests to be sure because when I was pregnant with Judd, I took a test like the week before and my best friend Tasha came down, I took a test, I was like, let me just make sure, you know, everything's good to go and I can go out and party and stuff. So I took a test, it was negative, and then the next week I just woke up and I was like, let me take a test, and that it was positive. And so ever since then, I've been like, I could be pregnant and just not know. Like, I could be pregnant and not have any hey. symptoms of pregnancy. So yeah, so I've taken tests all throughout this year they've all been negative my period is irregular so I can never depend on oh my period's late I'm pregnant no my period is always late and then it comes um but this time I just took a test because I was like let me take a test and just see what's going on and I took a test and it was positive um according to my app as of yesterday I was seven weeks and six days, and today makes eight weeks, so I'm about two months pregnant now. Yeah. Um, and it's so crazy because it was this time, three years ago, that I found out about Jetson. So I found out about Jetson October 26, 2018. Um, no like crazy pregnancy symptoms. Like I said, it was just the regular, I'm craving, I'm bloated. My boobs are tender because, you know, I'm about to start my period, but no, I was pregnant. So I found about Judd, I mean, this baby, baby number two, October 22nd. And according to my app, like I said, it says I'm seven weeks and six days due June 5th. Judd's birthday is July 1st. He was due June 28th. So they're going to be very close in age and birthdays. And this is gonna be a crazy time for our family. Like, <sighs> I feel like, you know, I don't know. Maybe this is God's, I know that there's a lesson in this. I know that there's a lesson. I know there's a reason God gave us a baby this time again, like almost the exact same way. It's so crazy. You got the pregnancy test? Can you show them? No. Okay, you're just gonna wait. And don't mind his hair, guys. He doesn't like getting it combed. And he doesn't like for me to braid it and brush it. And I'm gonna work on that today. So, excited. Um, but yeah, everything is so similar, it's so crazy. It's something about August, September, October, I guess, with me and having a baby, getting pregnant. 
I go to my first appointment November 3rd. I had an ultrasound, a meeting with the nurse, appointment with the doctor. We'll go for there. Hopefully I can get some footage of this because I my plan is to actually document this whole process. Like I said, I'm not gonna quit now because I've gone I've came so far. Just with like my modeling stuff, social media stuff, my TikTok, and I've been wanting to get back into YouTube, and so I'm hoping that I can really document this process for you guys and show you guys. And also, I just love having the memories. So, yeah, um, yeah. So hopefully, I can do a good job and deliver for you guys as I go through this very weird time. I feel like. I just turned 29 two weeks ago, and I've definitely brought that in with the bang. And that's how it always happens. Like, I was living my life. <laughs> and now I'm pregnant, and now I gotta sit my butt down and be at home. And, you know, prepare to have a healthy baby. I take my health extremely serious when I'm pregnant. You know, when I'm not with baby, not with the child, I'm like, you know, it's just, well, that's bad because I still have a child outside of me that I have to be here for. And that's one of my biggest fears, it's not being here for him. Um, but when I'm pregnant, it's more like, okay, I'm by the book, you know. Gotta be healthy, all of that. Like, no alcohol, no smoking. All the things you say not to eat when you're pregnant. Don't take all of that for So, <sighs> I just wasn't expecting this. I am really happy. I am excited. But like I said, it's very bittersweet because I thought I was going to be good, you know, for another year, not having another baby. And the baby said, if all that, I'm coming now. Well, God said, he's coming now. I don't know what it is. That's another thing. When I found out I was pregnant, I guess it took a few weeks, but my gut feeling, my mommy instinct said, this is a boy. I do not have that feeling yet. Um, I would like to have a girl. I hope this would be a girl, but I'm not gonna get my hopes up at all. I would definitely be okay with another boy because I have one boy and I just, he has my whole heart. Um, so I'd be okay with another boy. But I kind of do really want a girl. I want this one to be a girl. Just so if I don't want any more after this, I really don't have to because I'm complete with a boy and a girl. But I feel like if I have another boy, I will feel obligated to try for a third one to have a girl. And then if I have a third boy, then I'm just done because I'm not gonna try to have another girl and it's a boy. And then I have four boys, so. I don't really want that. I don't even, let me not say that. Let me take that back. I'm not gonna put negative in the air. It's just, you know, motherhood is just something else. Like it's really takes a toll on your whole life, not just your body. Your whole life is just changed. Oh, Judy gave me the test. This is my test. This is the exact same test I took with Judd. I only took one with Judd and I was like, oh shit pregnant and I went to like this clinic I went to agape it's for like pregnancy people I went there and confirmed it had an ultrasound that was the same day so I was like well I'm, we're pregnant so I am um, this time I did not do that I just called my doctor and said hey I need to make an appointment come in and do all the fun stuff let's get this show on the road so yeah, thanks for watching. I hope that you subscribe so you can stay up to date with what's going on in my world. My new pregnancy world. Uh, when I bring it, I try to have good vibes. I feel being peaceful and calm, remaining calm, you know, throughout any situation is good for the baby. I feel like that's what happened with Judd. I was chill the whole time and now he's such a chill kid, like he doesn't cry, and he's not a cry baby. Only at home, but you know, that's at home. Um, in his safe space, but around other people, he's so chill. So that's my goal for this one, is just to remain chill 
and calm and I hope number two is not a no limit soldier and I hope that he you know I know he's gonna add to this family and so I'm really excited to see what that's gonna be like so be sure to subscribe and like and follow me and check out my blog site I'm really gonna promote I'm on TikTok I'm on Instagram I have my own website if you want to do photos, I need a maternity shoot, I'm sure, happening soon, hit me up. Peace out, guys.